Hello everyone, today we are heading out to Fox Lake Adventures. Little doggy taking footsteps round about me here. How are you all? Hope you're all happy and healthy and well. Nice to see you all. Today I'm really, really excited because we are not going into Edinburgh. We are going out of Edinburgh, which a lot of you have been asking for for a long time. Starting to explore more of the roundabout area and, and more into Scotland. Um, this is really exciting as well because we are. this video is being made an, an association with not sponsored in any way, but in association with the East Lothian Tourist Attraction Group. Now, for those of you that don't know where East Lothian is, it's the county just next to Edinburgh. It is like 20 minutes on the bus to get into East Lothian, and then you've got so much incredible historical sites to see, attractions, adventures, trails, restaurants, ruins. It's, it's an incredible area of Scotland to be able to go and explore. So both of us are really excited to be able to do this video and hopefully many more in association with the East Lothian Tourist Attraction Group. Now, before we get started, we're gonna head um, out, sorry, I should say, to Fox Lake Adventures, which is just near Dunbar, just outside Edinburgh. Not too far, not too far at all. If you want to find out any more about East Lothian and any of the other incredible sites out there and Fox Lake, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Fox Lake Adventures so you can go check out some of the amazing things that they can do there, but I'll tell you more in a second. But if you're on Instagram, follow the hashtag Love East Lothian, and that will keep you up to date with all the incredible things that are happening out in that part of Scotland. So hashtag Love East Lothian, follow that, and that will keep you up to date. And also I'll leave a link in the description as well to the um, East Lothian website and a link to a brilliant video that tells you all about some of the attractions that you can go and visit in that area, whether you're a local here or you're, you know, visiting from anywhere in the world. These are the sites you want to follow to learn more about these incredible bits. I mean, we could go, at some point, we can go visit some of the sets of Outlander because they've used a lot of the area out there. For that. These are just some, these are just some of the amazing things we could do. But today, Today, we are going to Fox Lake Adventures. I should say as well, just before we go, East Lothian Tourist Attraction Group and all the East Lothian attractions have been working incredibly hard to make every single one of their sites uh, COVID-19 safe so that you can go and you can visit them all in safety and you can enjoy yourself without having to worry about anything like that as well. I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. I've deliberately said, don't tell me. Don't tell me what I'm doing. I want to be surprised. I said I'm up for anything. Kirsten's coming with me as well, which is quite brave because she is eight days <laughs> from her due date. So hopefully, you know, she doesn't just decide to say, no, the baby's coming now. Hopefully that's the fingers crossed. That won't happen. Um, she's come with me. She's got to do a lot of filming because I won't be able to as well. And I'm sure she'll be laughing at me falling. Uh, but some of the incredible things that we could be doing out of Fox Lake we could be doing the fox fall, waterboarding, zip trail, ringo, segwaying, and they do it for groups or families and so many different sort of things. But first we've got to get there. So we jumped in the car and it didn't take long. Only took about 30 minutes to get there. Nice and easy along the bypass and it was really easy to find. Easily signposted. Oh look, see, see, as if by magic there's a big sign. And there is loads of parking. Like, it was not difficult to find a parking space at all. So we've arrived at Fox Lake, just uh, outside Dunbar. Kirsten is here, very, very pregnant. <laughs> She's like, like I said, 8.9 months pregnant. Um, so we're gonna go in and, you know, I've got no idea what I'm doing. just spoke to Gary who has invited us out here today which uh, lovely guy really just talking us through everything right now um, it looks like I'm going to be doing the water assault course which is actually called Foxfall which means I is going to get wet 
So they handed me a wetsuit and then, you know, yeah, I went and got changed and trust me, that is not a sight that you guys want to really have a look at. There's a briefing first where you find out, you know, all the safety instructions, how to climb the obstacles, how to stay socially distant from groups that you're not with. And then they said there's four courses, green, blue, red and black, all going up in levels of difficulty. I decided to start going on the difficult one, on the black one. And you can see, you know, look at look at those delicate steps I'm taking there. And then you realise that you're very quickly out of your depth when you hit obstacles like this. This was kind of a rock climbing wall and you can't tell, but it's angled at a, at a negative degree. So I'm falling, what am I doing right there? What what was that move? I am not graceful. I am I'm not good at this, let me tell you. However, I did make it across, which, you know, I was quite proud of. But the good thing is, even though the obstacles look difficult, it's all really safe. Because you can't really hurt yourself. You fall into the water and it's not a long drop for any of them. And this is one, this was the monkey bars here. And you know when you just realise you're not going to do something. I just knew, in fact Kirsten realised as well, this is why I think she zoomed out here. So she could give you guys a nice view of me falling in the water. You know, spoilers by the way. Because you know, I'm, I think I managed one. Oh, yeah, there you go, one and then down. Look at that. And that was just, oh look, she's put it on a couple of times so that, you, so that you can get a good look at me falling in the water. That is cold water in there as well, let me tell you. It is not heated in any way. You've got to swim out and they're, they're very strict on things as well to make sure everyone's safe. You all have to go swim in the same direction if you're going out and you have to be aware of people above you if you're climbing. Uh, yeah, you just have to accept it sometimes if you're going to fall in the water. But it's a lot of fun. It's so much fun. I went straight back on, obviously going on a more easier course than that one, just because I was determined to at least make it round once. I think I may have went straight for the easiest course now, but I'm, I'm not, you know, swearing by that. I may have went on one of the more difficult ones, I'm, I, I can't remember. And you can see here that we're all staying socially distant. I'm on the obstacle on the rope bridge there, just in case you can, oh, yeah, hi, there I am, just in case you can't see. That's a family group in front of me on the platform. I'm not going on the platform there because that's a nice delicate step I'm taking there. Look at that. How, how good am I? See? See? All, all nice and balanced. I could be a ballerina. I really could. And I did make it to the end there. See? That's me going up that last road bridge, getting right to the end. And if you have made it to there when not getting wet, you've got no choice at the end because... It's a splashdown after the, the slide at the end here, and I thought I'd take you guys along with me just, just for one big one. That is cold water, though. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> so I am dry. I am. Actually, you know, the water was cold, but it was, and it's a lovely day. Kirsten's freckles are actually coming back. I know. September in Scotland and our freckles are coming out. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was so much fun. And we've just been watching the other things that you can do here. It's You can spend all, you know, if you book properly, you can spend all day doing a lot of activity. Oh, yeah. So that is us, you know, heading off after a brilliant day at, um, at Fox Lake. You can see it's got, people are still zooming about on there and the, the obstacle course that I went on as well. It was, it's an incredible day out. Thank you to Gary and all the team here that invited us out. I've had a great time. Kirsten's watched me have a great time. Um, but it really is, if you're thinking about heading out of Edinburgh and you're wanting something a bit more adventurous and exploring or if you're a local and you're looking for you know something a bit more unique then to come on I could not recommend it higher it's been such a brilliant day 
All the links to everything you need to know about it are in the description. Head down there, you can go on and you can check it out. But it has been a brilliant day. I have had a great day. Um, remember guys, as always, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, hit like and leave a comment. Let me know if you've been here or if you've been on anything like this anywhere else. But honestly, I could not, could not recommend this higher. But until next time, bye humans. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.